y'all, I'm going through and kind of having what I'll call a think tank. I'm going through and seeing all the stuff I have from Dollar Tree and trying to come up with other DIYs so I can use the stuff so it's not just sitting in bags. Um, I've got, I'm going to try to show you two quick DIYs. Hey, I know y'all have seen everybody and their brother do DIYs with this Halloween thing and I have it and it's been sitting in there every time I open up my china cabinet it falls out so I'm going to actually use it. This is what it looks like on the other side. It has the, the skeleton. I just went through and popped. I had some of this material left from the scarf and um, I just put it in there and then just popped it back in there. I don't think I'm going to hot glue it. I am going to go back and I'll trim all this off. But I'm going to take this snowflake and I'm just going to hot glue it in the center. And I'm going to leave this painted black. I, I, I like it black. And I'm going to just, that's what it's going to look like. Another DIY I want to show y'all. I had these um, cooling racks I bought from Dollar Tree. Um, I don't ever really use a cooling rack for my cookies. And I did have, I'm telling y'all, these scarves, you can make a lot of DIYs. This is the last bit of fabric. So I was looking at this cooling rack. What, what can I do? And then all of a sudden I was like, hello, it's a rectangle. Maybe I can make a present. Make it look like a present. So I'm going to take this and hot glue this on here. I'm going to show y'all how it'll look rectangle wise. This is actually Halloween ribbon I have bought. And I'm going to put some ribbon on here. And then I'll make a bow. And then I might possibly dangle a couple of snowflakes from it. And make it look like a little cute present to hang on the wall. Or you can hang it on the door. And I think what I'm going to do is just, I, I've got it cut big enough to where I can just hot glue and then just do the edges like this. And we'll do that. I'm going to do this in sections because this glue tends to want to dry fast on me. And I'm sorry, I've got my hand where y'all can even see what I'm doing. Make sure I have enough on that edge. And I did it again. I was blocking y'all. <laughs> And since they have these little um, things on here, if you have the command hooks, that's what I would actually use to hang them up with is the command hooks. I'll try to see if I can glue the top. I think I'm going to, have to put some more glue in my glue gun. Glue just goes too fast. I learned this spatula tri uh, trick from Beauty and the Stamper, and she learned it from one of her subscribers they had mentioned to her, so I really don't know where the spatula trick came from. If 
you happen to be one of my subscribers that you told Beauty and the Stamper about, let me know below that this was your idea. It would be interesting to know because it is a genius idea to not burn yourself. Okay, I think that side is good. Now let's try this side. I might. Let's see if I'm going to be happy enough to. Yeah, I'll be able to pull it. That This fabric is pretty stretchy, so you, you'll be able to kind of stretch it some to get it uh, really taut. I'm gonna actually I'm just gonna take instead of cutting it right now I'm just gonna take this and I'm, I'm gonna use this as my guide because I know this is the middle put some glue down and I'm definitely gonna use this on here because this is mesh and I will burn myself with the mesh. Put a little bit more down to get this edges. Don't have any lifting, hopefully. Alright. Before I glue this down, I want to check and make sure I have it straight as possible. Which I know this isn't technically straight, so it's all good. I'm trying to make this in a hurry for you guys. course when you make your own crafts you're going to be taking your time okay <clears throat> while that is drying I'm gonna get me some ribbon off to make a bow I'm gonna get another little piece off And I'm going to actually fold it in half. And now fold it in half again because I know I made it way too big. There are different ways to make a bow. I just I wrapped it around a couple of times. I just looped it around. You just have to play with it. Decide what kind of bow you want. And it's always good to play with it. the um, play around with your design before you finalize it with glue. little webs everywhere okay I think I kind of like the little bow sticking up like that I don't need that much ribbon on here I'm gonna cut some of this off I 
I am going to go ahead and hot glue this because I know I like this the way it is. Try the best not to burn myself. And I did it anyway. Try to get this ribbon to stick out somewhere. Maybe down here. Since that's short, I'm going to make this one a little bit shorter, too. I did like it sticking out, but I don't have enough sticking out on the other side, so. Get some hot glue down here. And I will definitely use the spatula this time. glue some of the um the edges of the ribbon right here too just to really secure it Yeah, I think I'm going to do one dangling on this side and then have two on this side. I like the off center. Okay, now i got to figure out how I'm going to glue them on here. I think I'm going to just glue them up under the ribbon a little bit. Because I like them on the little dangly things. Hopefully that will not fall off. We'll see. Okay, I'm going to let that dry. Now I'm going to glue this one on this side. And I'm going to try to glue this dangling off of here. I figure out how to do it because I kind of don't want it, I kind of want it to dangle and not glue it actually to the thing. So it might turn it over. Put a dollop of glue on there. Just 
hold it up to where it'll Let that dry. While that is drying, I'm going to go ahead and glue the um, this on, and then I'll go back and cut this off. Let's see, I don't know if y'all can see. I'm gonna, I think I can scoot this over and let it dry without messing it up. Okay, now I'm gonna just take and glue the um, snowflake on right there. And hopefully, again, not burn myself. I think I'm going to just put some glue on the points of the snowflake very quickly. Except for that one right there because I don't want to burn myself. Well, okay. Try one up as best as possible. And again, y'all know I am not good at getting things lined up. That is not my forte at all. And Anna Claire's starting to get sleepy. I didn't want to glue this in here because I might take the um, the, the bl um, blanket, the scarf and stuff out and then I might somehow interchange this. I don't know. Somehow seasonal, I might interchange it, but I just want the option. So I did not want to glue this fabric. And I want to, when I do cut this fabric off, I want to um, leave enough that I'll go, be able to go back and, and put it back on there again. All right, I'm going to go through and cut some of this off, off of the back. If I can find my scissors. Oh, there they are. Still amazed I have scissors that actually work. It's so wonderful. I'm, I'm really loving these scissors. I got these at Walmart and they're Westcott and they're um they're medium grade scissors, I guess you would call it. They they will do uh, some fabrics and um, of course you know everything out like paper and stuff. The main thing you wouldn't want to cut with this it would be like really thick upholstery it says and I think really thick canvas it would not cut okay so there is that one I'm gonna hold y'all up and that is this one and they just kind of dangle I like that I think it's really cute and my bows are never perfect and it's, I'm completely fine with it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna figure out where I want to hang this, hang both of these up, and then I'll, um, I'll show y'all. Okay, to make it easier to hang on the wall, I just put a piece of twine, and it was too loose, so I'm kind of hot gluing it down, because I don't want it, hopefully when I hang it up, it's not gonna go too far up. I don't want it to, so hopefully it won't. Okay, and um, this is where I decided to put them, and I'm really loving it because it kind of completes like a whole gallery now. I might decide next year to kind of do the gallery a little different, but um, for now, I didn't want to have to move this stuff around, so for now, this is what we did, but I think it looks really cute. That's it for these DIYs. Uh, I'll see y'all next video. Thank you for watching. I hope it inspired you and I'll see y'all next video. Love you all. Bye.